Amnesty International is calling on the Justice Department to investigate the violent police crackdown against Native American water protectors and their allies fighting the $3.8 billion Dakota Access Pipeline at Standing Rock in North Dakota. The call comes after Amnesty sent a delegation of human rights observers to witness the police crackdown, which has included police using rubber bullets, tear gas, concussion grenades, sound cannons, water cannons, and sub freezing temperatures and other military-style weapons that have injured hundreds of people. On Wednesday, the North Dakota Emergency Commission approved an additional $7 million of funding to police the ongoing resistance movement, bringing the total price tag of the policing to $17 million. This comes one day after North Dakota officials moved to block new supplies from reaching the water protectors by announcing police will begin stopping people blaming they believe are headed to the camps and find them $1,000 if they're found with supplies. The sheriff of Morton County, Kyle Kirkmeyer, has said, however, police will not be arresting people in the coming days as the Army Corps of Engineers closes access to the main resistance camps on December 5th.